As part of the Cisco Express networking certification, you will be required to have a fundamental understanding of the Cisco Meraki MS Switch platform. In this video, we will discuss how Cisco Meraki has redefined the management and configuration of switches. So let's get started. Let's take a closer look at some of the feature highlights. Delays beyond 150 milliseconds are often unacceptable for supporting voice and video traffic. Cisco Meraki switches support layer 2 and layer 3 quality of service, ensuring these real-time traffic flows are given priority as they enter and traverse the network. Set switch, port to accept ingress prioritization label, or four certain ports or VLANs to a chosen priority level. Six queues with full QoS settings support flexible policy implementation. Layer 7 application visibility, previously available only through costly overlay appliances, is included in Cisco Meraki switches at no additional cost. Hundreds of applications are automatically identified and reported, from business app to BigTorrent and YouTube. Rather than separately managing each switch, switches can be grouped together into virtual stacks, regardless of how, of how physically dispersed those switches may be. For high performance and management conveniences, switches can also be physically stacked together and managed as a single entity. OSPF routing algorithm automatically factor link cost to calculate optimal pathway for routing packet from point A to point B. This efficiency translates into improved network performance since delays across slow links are minimized. Network ports are all around us. Most are in physically secure environments, but many are not. Using 802.1x port-based network access control, MAC-based authentication, or a mix of the two, the network administrator can lock down access on a port by port basis to authorize user or devices. A guest VLAN can be configured to provide restricted access perhaps to the internet via DMZ or a remediation server. Many internet network issues start at the physical layer. At a remote site, a cable connecting to a computer or remote or phone may become damaged or in normal use. With built-in remote cable testing, the network administrator can test the integrity of the cable even thousands of miles away. A cable test will also indicate the approximate length of the cable, helping the remote engineer understand whether they are working on a patch cable or building cable. Every network engineer knows that sooner or later only a packet capture will truly identify the source of a network problem. Cisco Meraki offers the unique ability to run a detailed packet capture from anywhere with an internet connection, without needing to be directly connected to the relevant switch. Simply select the port or device in dashboard and run the capture. This will generate an industry standard PCAP file which can be opened with the usual software. Numerous models scaling from access to campus aggregation, including cloud managed physical stacking, multi gigabit performance, and universal power over Ethernet power for the campus network. MS switch models. Let's have a look on our layer 2 access switch with the MS220. Comes in 8, 24, and 48 ports, integrated with power and fans, and also compatible with the Cisco RPS 2300. The MS225, which is considered as a 2.5 layer because of its ability to do static routing with 10 gigabits of SFP plus uplinks, and also has two stacking interfaces with up to 80 gigabits of stacking bandwidth. Moving to layer 3 with the MS250, very similar than the MS225. However, it has also the ability to do dynamic routing and has hot swappable power supplies. The MS350 provides 160 gigabits of stacking bandwidth plus the ability to do hot swap uh, power supplies and then fans. The MS350 24X has 8 multi gigabit ports and the ability to provide 60 watt of power per port, also known as UPoE or Universal Power of Ethernet. On the layer 3 aggregation with the MS410, SFP and SFP Plus only switch has two dedicated stacking ports for a total of 160 gigabits of stacking bandwidth. The MS425 is an SFP Plus only and has two 40 gigabits of QSFP uplinks and has the ability to do flexible stacking. Now, in regard of stacking, only like models can be stacked. For example, MS350-48 and an MS350-24X can be stacked, but MS250-48 
cannot be stacked with an MS-350-48. Physical stacking is available on MS-225, 250, 350 and 410, which includes dedicated stacking port. Flexible stacking is available on MS-425 switches which do not have dedicated stacking port. Any port of these switches can be configured as stack port. MS feature, multi-gigabit Ethernet. Gigabit connections have served us well for many years, delivering fast low latency data to the PCs, phones and other devices sitting on our desks. With rapid advances in wireless technology, the latest generation of access point can overwhelm a gigabit connection so that the wired network becomes a performance bottleneck. With the continuing trend towards wireless as the dominant medium, a technology was needed which could push past the long-standing 1 gigabit limit. Multi-gigabit is this technology, capable of delivering up to 10 gigabits per second to the most demanding IT equipment. 10 gigabit speed, and even faster, have been available over copper cabling for some time. However, these options are limited, either by the need for short cable runs, or the very latest twisted pair cable type CAT56A or higher. For many organizations, the cost of ripping out and upgrading cable outweigh the benefit, so CAT5E and CAT6 remain the prevailing copper technology installed today. Multi-gigabit technology bridges a gap between the 1 and 10 gigabit standard, adding options for 2.5 and 5 gigabits over existing cabling. Multi-gigabit technology is the collaborative work of the N-based T-Alliance, a consortium of over 45 industry leaders formed in 2014. These efforts have combined into an emerging IEEE standard, 802.3BZ, which will formally introduce 2.5 gig base T and 5 gigabit base T in 2016. Designed as an addition to the Meraki MS350 flagship layer 3 stackable access switch family, the MS350 24X has 24 ports, 8 of which are multi gig capable and can support speed of 1, 2.5, 5, 10 gigabits on supported cable types. This switch perfectly complements the MR53 and MR84, which are multi gig. Capable. MS feature physical stacking. Managing switches is an essential part of the network administration. So with Cisco Meraki, there are no expensive feature or support licenses to pay for or no requirement for proprietary cable either. Large network can be assembled using a combination of standalone, physically stacked, and aggregation layer switches. Redundancy is supported in hardware and software with hot swappable power supply and fans plus link aggregation and warm spare functionality. With up to 8 stacked switches per wire closet, all of which are managed through a single pane of glass, the Meraki dashboard. The dedicated stacking cable between switches in the stack provides up to 160 gigabits of stack bandwidth with spatial reuse and link up to the core distribution layer. By using cross-stack LSCP, Throughput between network layer is maximized and all links are forwarding. MS feature, virtual stacking. Virtual stacking is a concept pioneered by Cisco Meraki. MS series switches can be treated as a virtual stack without requiring a physical connection and regardless of their location. This means that switches can be in different physical locations. For instance, you might have one switch in New York and another switch in California. An administrator still have unprecedented visibility and manageability in all the ports of the virtual stack, greatly simplifying management of large distributed networks. Switches that are in the same physical location can be physically stacked and managed using virtual stacking in the same way. Leverage the power of centralized cloud management to pre-stay switches and virtual stack before they are even deployed. Using this approach, switch deployment becomes a zero-touch plug-and-play exercise even by non-technical staff. Bulk changes and software updates are straightforward to push out, eliminating the requirement to be physically present at each switch or stack. MS feature topology. Network topology automatically maps network architecture, showing how memory security, switching, phone, cameras, and wireless devices are connected, including redundant link disabled by the spanning tree protocol to prevent data loops. In the topology view, square represents MX security appliances, rectangle represents MS switches, and circle represents MR access point. Non-Meraki equipment is also detected and displayed. 
because Meraki MS Switch automatically listens for LLDP and CDP broadcasts from connected devices. It may be possible to detect the manufacturer, model type, IP address and more on the third-party equipment. This is done automatically with no overlay software needed. Quickly zero in in the device that matter by using the dynamic search tool available in the topology dashboard view. Search for network device by name, tag or device type to see how equipment is deployed. Devices not meeting search criteria will be automatically dimmed so that sought for equipment is highlighted. Conversely, if you are viewing detail for a specific client, like a laptop or a mobile phone, from within the Meraki dashboard, clicking the topology link will highlight which network device that client is directly connected to, enabling a quick assessment of upstream connectivity. See at a glance where trouble lies on your network. Devices displayed in the topology view are color-coded based on connectivity health. Meraki devices alerting red or yellow can be immediately clicked into for remote diagnosis on troubleshooting. Hovering over individual network links display the active port of each termination point, the number of clients using that link for the last day, link speed and link usage. These statistics make it easy to pinpoint which link are the most heavily trafficked and service the most clients. Hello. My name is Tony Carmichael and I'm a product marketing manager at Meraki. Today I'm going to be showing you how to demonstrate the Meraki cloud managed switching solution in the Meraki dashboard. Now to get started we're going to go ahead and use the Meraki SF or San Francisco office for the purposes of this demo. I've already selected the Meraki organization and so to start the demo we're going to go over here and find the SF network. You can see it's the second in the list. You'll notice that as soon as I choose this network, the first page we land on is what I would consider to be the most powerful page in Dashboard, the Clients view. This page lists every uniquely identified device on the network infrastructure, and that can include devices connected to Meraki access points, switches, or even our security appliances. As we take a look and navigate this page, one of the key things to highlight as you're demoing the solution is the flexibility of this page. For example, we can go in here and filter only showing, for example, switch clients. A great demo example is to be able to find all of the printers in the network using the client's view. So we can do that by simply typing the word printer in the search box. You'll see we have 14 connected printers in the network, and we can see all the details about them, including things like the name that IT has chosen to assign to each one, and perhaps things like which VLAN these devices are on. Now, everything looks good here. All the printers are connected, but if we were to want to troubleshoot one, all we'd have to do is click on it, and again, we are shown this very detailed view containing all of the pertinent information to this device. Things like the fact that it is currently connected, but one of the coolest things is that we show you exactly which switch and port this device is currently connected to. Other information like the device type, usage statistics for the device, and other network information are all readily available. We also have a couple of nice tools in this view, including the wake on LAN tool if we wanted to wake this device up, and a ping tool if we wanted to see if there were any connectivity issues between the switch and this printer. Now, in addition to showing you which port and switch this printer is plugged into, we actually link you to it as well. So let's go ahead and click on port 27. You'll notice that this takes us out of the client's view and into the switch's view, and it has actually pulled up the switch and port the specific printer is plugged into right now. This is fantastic if you're trying to see the other angle, which is looking at it from a switch's perspective. We can see how this port is configured. We can see who is currently plugged into this. We can see the status of the connection over time. And we have yet another few tools in our arsenal if we were to want to troubleshoot something with this printer. Great example is our cable test live tool. This is definitely worth demoing and you can click play just to see if there's any issues with the cable that is being used to connect the printer to the switch. Lots of network problems are caused by simple issues with cabling. We can see in this example 
The printer's cable is perfectly fine. We can see an estimated length and we can see that the cable itself tested as okay. Another key example of a live tool that a lot of our network admins find useful is our port cycle tool. You'll notice that if I click play here, it's going to actually bounce the port and it's going to reset the connection between the switch and the printer. Another great tool, really readily available and accessible within the dashboard. The last thing that's absolutely worth demonstrating in the context of powerful visibility and Meraki's live tools is the network topology view. Now there's two ways to show this. I personally like to show the topology from the perspective of a selected client. So let's go back to our Minotaur printer, which is what we looked at previously. And you may have noticed that there was actually a topology link here. This, when clicked, is going to take you to the Meraki topology view. You can also navigate it navigate to it from the context menu to the left by going to network-wide topology. However, by clicking on it from the printer's view, it's going to pre-search and show you exactly the network path that this printer takes as it makes its way out to the internet. You can see the highlighted path starting from how it connects at the edge of the network to the specific switch how that switch makes its way through the network ag aggregation layer, the network core layer, and ultimately out to the internet. This is an incredible way to look at the network and it's very unique to Meraki. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to demo how straightforward the Meraki switches can be to set up and configure. In order to demo this, you're gonna wanna go to the switch switch ports page. This is what we call the virtual stack and it's where a user can configure all of the switch ports for the entire network. Now remember we have 85 switches in this particular location and so this view is going to list out all of the ports for all of those switches. It's an extremely powerful page both from a monitoring perspective you can see the status of each of these ports for example but also in order to configure your switches. You could for example, and this is a great demo, type 1 through 10 to tell this page you want it to list just ports 1 through 10 for each switch. Now if you do the math, 85 switches, 10 ports each, you end up with 850 switch ports. That's a lot. And from there you can select all of these ports at once. Once you've selected all of the ports, you can simply click edit and a pop-up shows you all of the various settings and options that are available for you to configure all of these ports. It's great to demo just this view because it lists all of these out very intuitively rather than having to memorize what and how you can make these configuration changes on this range of ports that you've selected. Once you've shown how you can configure all the switches in the network in mass, it's also worth demoing the clone tool. So we're gonna go back to switch switches and Conceptually, the clone tool allows for you to pick one switch for the source configuration, meaning you only really need to configure one switch if you want all of your switches to be configured the same. And then you can choose one or many switches to clone to. So for example, let's go ahead and pick a specific model. We're going to pick the MS220-48FP. We have a total of seven switches of this model, and maybe we want to clone the first six to look exactly like switch 4.1.9. So I've went ahead and selected these. You can select the top one, hold shift and select the bottom. You can choose the clone tool and then you can simply search for 4.1.9. Now by clicking clone here, it's going to let me copy the configuration from 4.1.9 to the rest of the switches. This saves tons of time and it's a really cool feature to demo. For those customers more interested in performance and redundancy, there's many features across dashboard that are worth demoing there. One of the key ones is some of our switches which have the ability to be physically stacked, and there's a dashboard component to that. So under switch, we can see that there's monitor switch stacks. Now physical stacking as a technology is quite straightforward. You plug the cables in and you're good to go. 
But Dashboard brings this technology to life and it really shows you all of your stacks and the various stack members therein. For example, this 5.2 Access Orange stack has a total of four members and if we click on it, you can actually see a lot more detail about that particular switch stack, such as per member uh, usage, what's plugged in, and again, lots of troubleshooting tools and other capabilities. A really nice one is the ability to quickly clone and replace a failed stack member in the off chance that that were to happen. You can simply go to the stack, say clone and replace, choose the source and destination, and be on your way. If customers are looking for layer 3 capabilities, we also offer high availability and dynamic routing functions. Those are going to be found under switch, routing, and DHCP. If we go there, you'll see that there's lots of settings and options, and in terms of high availability towards the bottom, you'll see the ability to add warm spares. This is again very simple, and all you have to do is choose add a new warm spare, choose the primary, choose the spare, and click save. Now if you were to want to demonstrate some of the other routing capabilities, you can see on this page that there's ways to add static routes, add interfaces, and there's another page dedicated specifically to OSPF dynamic routing. The really nice thing with the Meraki Cloud Architecture is that it's always monitoring all of your devices, including the switches in this particular network. Network administrators have the ability to custom tailor alerts for their IT teams. So if you can see, if we go to the alerts and administration page, network alerts are configurable by device type. So there's lots of switch alerts that a network administrator can choose to enable and we strongly recommend demonstrating this to your customers. This is particularly useful for those networks that have high availability requirements because those alerts will be sent as soon as a problem has been detected or for example, a warm spare failover has occurred. Now if you want to demonstrate some of our security features on the Switch product, I recommend going to Switch Access Policies. This is where network admins can define and create security policies that can be used across all of the switches in their network. Now you can see in the Meraki organization we've configured a radius server and we've configured an 802.1x type access policy. Once a user has defined a policy like this and saved it, it is now configurable on any selected switch port that the user might want to apply that policy to. So to demonstrate how to apply this access policy, we would go back to switch, switch ports, and we would select one or more switch port and apply the access policy to it. For example, if we wanted to apply the access policy to ports one through 10 on all switches, we would simply select, specify the range, select the, those ports, and we would go here to access policy and choose the desired policy we would want to apply to those ports. That concludes our demo highlights for Meraki's cloud-managed MS switching solution. I hope it was useful, and happy demoing!